Hey guys, AJ here, back with another one for you. So guys, this is episode three in our, our series of reacting to every single episode of uh, Takedown with Chris Hansen. Now guys, Takedown is the newest Chris Hansen investigation. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's on True Blue. Now guys, they used to release these episodes on True Blue's YouTube channel. Then these knuckleheads decided to take it off. So we are taking th things in, in our own hands over here. <laughs> And we are going to present them to you in all of their glory, and we're going to react to them just like we react to TCAP and Hanson versus Predator. I'm AJ. You guys know who I am. That's, I I watched TCAP live back in the day. Um, I've had this channel for a year now, and I have a really, really, really fun, fun group of people over here. So please like and subscribe. Join the Discord, guys. That's in my about section um if you want to be part of these videos guys because we have seasons these to do drop it in the discord and what we can do is you guys can join the, the panel and everything will be just fine uh james and cam you guys have been in the last two introduce yourselves again and then we can uh dive into this here okay jameson here uh i just want to point out that we're recording this on a legal app <laughs> that that joke will make sense later <laughs> Cam and, I, Cam and I have seen all these, these takedowns before. So. I think I've only seen Golf Cart Matt once, right? So, so this is, you guys know that every time that we watch it, there's there's things that pop out more and more. So, yep. Mr. Yeah, this Cam. is a good episode, a really good episode. Um, yeah, I'm Cam, TCAP fan, obviously, and not much really to say, but um, happy to be here. <laughs> As I did a video just re recently on John Christopher Weaver, Guys, I don't remember him at all. He was in the Riverside one. So do you guys oh, remember yeah. him? Yeah, he was on there. Yeah. I I can never remember his name. I always remember him as Kevin Smith. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. right? <laughs> silent, silent Bob. <laughs> ah, look at that. Sorry, guys. Let, let's just jump into this. On this episode of Takedown... This guy is mad. Like he wants to Dude, he's a decoy. <laughs> <laughs> he's still not as bad as my mommy and my daddy, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Look at this guy. He's about he's about Chris's height too, I think. Yeah, and the thing is, maybe they were like, Hey, hey man, officer whatever, you're rather slender. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be a TCAP D decoy? Look at that. He looks no younger than 30s he's asked for. Like, yeah, I, I mean, look. He, I guess he put a hoodie on him, even though he's like six foot nine. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, Joey, Joey TCAP posted uh, Matt's uh, interrogation, and that's one of the things that he kept saying. He said, I answered the door as a 30 year old man there. That's what I expected to see. Oh, golf cart Matt? The, there's an interrogation. Oh yeah, Joey put it up. Oh Joey man, oh, guys, guys! Oh, part two to this episode, so we got to check that out because I have not seen that, that that yet. So yeah, he's there. Get the music. I need you to sit right over there. I know who you are, but I, I'm not here forever. Uh, then you can tell me about it, but you got to go now. No, my no, no, oh, 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 <laughs> Down, down, down. That's my favorite part. In 2021, part. the Monroe County, Michigan Sheriff's Office unveiled Viper, the violent internet predator and exploitation response team to combat sexual predators Viper. and human trafficking. With a population of 150,000, it's not just the community of Monroe where child predators are lurking. The neighboring metro of Toledo, Ohio is literally just steps away. Monroe County Sheriff Troy Goodenough assembled the strike team from his office, the Monroe Police Department, and the Michigan State Police. His name is Troy Goodenough? <laughs> Would well, that that be funny if his first name was just... <laughs> a trifecta for catching and taking down predators. 
We want people to know, don't come to Monroe County and pray on our citizens or we're going to be there. I'm embedded with the Viper team and their latest sting to capture child predators. At the helm of the operation is Sergeant Mike Predmore. The chatters have been busy as there seems to be no shortage of men looking for underage prey. Look at the difference in their command center com compared to, to prepared to justice, right? They have like four phones, a laptop, and a tablet, whereas MSNBC had a whole friggin' missile command center, you know? While the operations and work of Viper are dangerous and disturbing, the reason behind doing this work is what motivates them. So much of law enforcement is responding to the report of a crime and dealing with the victim. And this is a chance, I would imagine, for you guys to get out in front of it when you can. Absolutely. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's something that we, we take pride in because it's, you know, like you said, it's proactive. We're, we're out there getting these guys off before they are. I want to make a little quick state, statement. Guys, I have a beard, a rather le legendary beard at this point. <laughs> if you're going to grow a beard, guys, never, ever, ever cut it this far forward. Always have it right, a, right about, about there. Seriously, it makes your face look strange. So take where your Adam's apple is and take, like, a finger and cut, like, right right past that finger. That's as far back as you, you should go. Doing this to children, and we don't know about it. You know, so we're trying to prevent it before we just answer that nine one one. Now you can't unsee it, can you guys? Happen. We're trying to get out in front of it, so it's good. It's, it's a good, uh, good way to be involved in the community and try to keep it safe. A viper chatter has a predator wanting to meet. This guy is getting mad, like he wants to be here. He tells me about the sexually suggestive text. Did he give you the mat? Said he wants to come over, sit with me, rub my back and be kind to me like my baby. Um, I asked what he wants to do. He said, I can really use a massage. I'll give you one, two if you'd like, then really want to make out and kiss you and suck my neck, my nips, and a good BJ from you. And I want that ass. The sting out. Jesus. You guys remember, I think it was, um... So the guy who was reading uh, uh, Stanley Kendall's uh, chat log, you remember that? I like to fuck ass and suck balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. House is set up and ready to go. The Viper team is in place and ready for the takedown. In all my years of doing predator stings, I've never seen a suspect make an entrance like this. <laughs> Your eyes aren't deceiving. Yeah. This He's got rims on his so close that he has just rolled up on a custom neon green golf cart. Wouldn't this that is be funny if he had hydraulics on and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> He's so Matt, proud. And he lives in the same neighborhood, actually just a few doors down from our sting operation, bringing new meaning to the devil next door. Unbelievably, he's in no apparent hurry to sneak inside and meet with a 14-year-old boy. He actually stops and takes a few moments to chat with fellow neighbors. What? Anyway, I'll like All right, let's now that the neighborly social time oh, is gotcha. over, Matt is ready to meet the 14-year-old boy he's been chatting with online. But not before he grabs his travel cooler of beer and his cell phone. Mm -hmm. He's even <laughs> so brazen with his illicit rendezvous that he's wearing his house slippers. He brought a beer cooler. But he won't be so comfortable when he's taken down by me and the Viper strike team. Okay. At least try and do like a higher pitch voice. You know what I mean? Hey man. Well, <laughs> this guy had the right idea, though. He brought his own beer cooler. He must have saw the Anthony Palumbo bust where he couldn't get the kid to put the beer in the fridge. Yeah, in the fridge, yeah. Says, I'm just going to bring my own. Look at how tall that guy is. Oh, let me get my charger real quick. And, and this guy's just a share taller than... Uh, hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. <laughs> I need you to sit over that stool right oh, over there. Dude. Please, dude, oh, please. no. <laughs> please, I cannot do this right now, dude. 
I need you to sit right over there. I know who you are, but I, I'm not here for whatever. Hey, can you pause you it for a minute? About it, but you got to go now. <laughs> Cinnamon Toast Ken pointed this out. Look at that refrigerator. You got. Oh, yeah. The- Look at that. There's a, a freezer handle on this side and the refrigerator handle on this side. That is so bizarre. That is so strange, huh? And, and they have Little Caesars pizza. Oh, <laughs> what is going of on course. with this craziness? Yeah, but well, who it, it, does it, it that? It is a trailer park. That is so weird. <laughs> Dude, and this guy. I know what's. Who's that? He's just a shade taller than Kevin Westerbeck. This guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just, he's pretty short. And then and, and the decoy and Chris Hansen tower over over him. Is is this a camera right here? What's God, in this man. towel thing? You know what I mean? What's going outside? They're already here. Who's here? Is anybody here? Who? I'm just gonna leave, please. You can't. I have to, sir. You, no. sir I have to. Sir, I'm Chris Hansen. Look at that. I know who you are, sir. I have so to. how do you know? Uh, who I am? Don't because don't touch Chris TV. now. So what are you doing here? Uh, uh, here here it comes, guys. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, look at that guy's hat. Hey, go I was going to say, what? He's got a NASA jacket on. He's got that hat. What is what is on his hat? You know what it is? It's Marty McFly Jr.'s hat from Back to the Future, too. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax, Matt. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not doing nothing. I promise. I'm not Put down the keys. Yep. Yep. Hey, Matt. Yep. You talked to someone who identified themselves as a 14. <laughs> Chris just kind of jumped straight into it. And says, yeah. yeah. Now, now that I have a captive audience. <laughs> your old boy. Correct. Right. I, I just, I just wanted to hang out. I didn't say anything. That's not what you said. You said you wanted to have a massage. You wanted to have him suck your neck. Just arrest me, please. You said you said you wanted a good to, BJ. I have, nothing, I have nothing to talk about, sir. Please. And you said you want that ass. Please just arrest me, sir. <laughs> Guys, I think Chris is like, I'm in charge of this. I'm one of the founders of True Blue. I can say whatever the hell I want in on my own show. Oh, look at look at that. My lawyer will But you said all that. My lawyer my lawyer will tell everything. I didn't say anything. My lawyer will talk it's for me. It's in the transcripts, man. My lawyer will talk for me. Thank you. Well, you don't have any explanation for this. How far did you travel, Matt? Kept my answer. Matt? How far did you travel? Did you bring condoms? Matt? Sir, can you guys just take me? All right. There's you guys know that Richard Briel brought three boxes of condoms with him? Three? <laughs> well, he was also expecting another guy there, too, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just watching his segment again because I was kind of like going through my old videos to see who I hadn't done yet. And yeah, Richard Briel, um, yes, remember, because when he walks in, he goes, is your friend here? Right? In in the chat log, he was saying, hey, hey, do you have a gay friend that, that I could have sex with too? He goes, I don't want to kiss him, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay or anything. <laughs> yeah. I just want to, I just want to F his ass. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to kiss him, though. <laughs> And then he goes, he goes, hey, is your friend here? You know what I mean? To the girl. So else you want oh, to no, say? that was I think that was Dell, wasn't it? Yeah, well, well She said she said, You want me you still want me to call my friend? My friend? Yeah, he goes, Is your friend here? And he's like, Is there a dog here? Just follow your please. Dude, this guy is like five foot, man. Look look at that. He's not that short, is he? Why am I under hang arrest? Hang on, hang on. Why am I under arrest? Hang on. Sir, they'll tell you everything. No, why am I under arrest? Now, am I being detained? So why am you, I under arrest? Uh-oh. Now we know. No one knows his rights. He's a 14-year-old boy. But that's not why I'm here. 
Okay. So these guys, these guys are gonna walk out, walk out the. I'm detained. So I'm being detained. You are You're under, under arrest. arrest. Guys, who has a yeah. soul patch these days? <laughs> this guy is stuck in 2003, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking straight up. Stand alone in China. A <laughs> Godsmack it, it, style, right? It, you're required to have a soul patch to buy one of those golf carts, I think. Well, and that hat, too. You're going to be yeah. not detained. You're okay. under arrest. Okay. Could you please, please not film me? I don't want to be on camera. You don't have a choice, <laughs> I don't want to be on the news, dog. Well, it's a little late for that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, you made the I choice. Know, I know that. I know that. I don't you know the law. So you're a lawyer, man. Are you? Absolutely. So why do you think you? Why do you think you have a sir, choice about sir, being on camera? Have, listen, you walked into very, a place. You're very intelligent, man. I read, I don't, really don't want to have a conversation about it. I just don't want to be taped, please. And I know that I have. Well, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice, man. At least not to be taped. Please. You have to be taped. You made the taped. choice to walk in here, and you gave up your I, right to privacy. All, I asked if everything was okay, and if I, when I saw that, I had no idea. I said, "Hey, you're not like police or anything." Like. I'm, I just want to come hang out. That's right. what I put. And yes, of course. But you talked this about is coming from a website, by the way, where people meet. That's by the. I just want to be like that, very clear that I was. Her profile said she was a hundred and two. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. Gr- it was. It was grinder, by the it way. It was grinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doing anything illegal? I didn't come here for anything illegal. I came here to hang out. That was. Have it. you met other fourteen-year-old boys from Absolutely this website? Not. Have you told other 14-year-old boys you want Absolutely a BJ not. and you want that ass Absolutely not. after you said that you wanted him Absolutely to not. suck your neck? Absolutely not. What do you think would have happened, Matt, had we not been here Chris, and a 14-year-old boy? Chris, I've seen your show before. Turns out I actually have a fan in golf cart Matt. And while he was pretty quick to shut down in the beginning, he's now all too happy to chat with me. While he's a fan, he's not too happy about being on this episode of Takedown. By the way, nothing. I have, I'm not here for what you think, believe it or not. I'm going to tell you guys. I'm telling you. It's just talking. I don't see the internet and real life are two different things. (laughs) The same excuse every time. But it says... I know what I said. But Matt, you, that you see how this looks. Matt. Absolutely. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'd rather not be filmed. Obviously, I knew uh, when I walked in here that I didn't, you know, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to just kind of hang out. I have about an hour left. I'm about to go to sleep and I have to work in the morning and that's it. Matt tells me all this comes at an inconvenient time for him as he has to work in the morning. But he won't be punching the time clock anytime soon. Where do you work, Matt? I can't say that, sir. I'm going okay. to find out. I'm going to find, find out. Because then I'll get fired. That's the only, if I lose that, I lose everything I have. I don't have anything, sir. Like, I'm alone in my life. I have nothing. Like, literally, everybody in my life is dead. My mom's the only one living. I take care of her the best Wait, I can. Wait, hold on. Everyone in his life is, is dead, but then he takes care of his mom. <laughs> How does that work, right? And it's funny because, like, if you don't want to lose lose your job, maybe you shouldn't go cruising for underage boys on Grinder, right? Seems like a, a reasonable theory there. I can. I mean, that's it. If I lose that, I lose everything I have. I can't lose everything I have because, well, who's going to take care of my dog? Who's going to take care of my house? What's going to happen to me? Because of Matt's actions, his mom and the dog will have to fend for themselves until he posts bail. <laughs> I understand all that, Matt, but at the same time, that doesn't make it okay to meet a 14-year-old boy absolutely, online for sex. I don't know what is going First of all, I don't know what's going on right now, dude. I'm really freaked out. I don't know what's going on right now, dude. Well, I can tell you what's going on. You had a sexually charged conversation with somebody who absolutely. said they were 14. Guys, look, question. He has like a, a hook that you get from Home Depot, Depot for his cuffs. How does he get his cuffs off of there? You know what I mean? Like, some of them have the things where they're locked in, but you got to pull them out of a certain way, you know what I mean? But I don't get how this cop here gets these cuffs off of here. Sorry, yeah, but they said they were 14. I didn't see that. Oh, Matt. Do you know how many times I've heard that? <laughs> I absolutely have. <laughs> okay, You're so you've seen right now. you've seen my shows. Yes, absolutely. What do you think of those shows? I think that is... I think that you're doing a great job. You're actually, I've seen you on a lot of other podcasts, too. You do a great job. That's why I'm wondering what is going on right now. What is going on is that we are doing a story, right? an investigation on, a, my, fix my glasses. on adults my on adults who meet children for sex I'm online. I'm not, I won't have I'm really not, rather not be filmless. And I okay. don't want to be. Dude, is, is, 
Did you see how big his pupils were? Do you guys think he's methed out or what? You know what I mean? So, oh, I don't have a cho- I don't have a choice in that. Nor no, do you. I think the police do. Um, though you walked in here and you gave up your right to privacy when you came no, no, into no, this I home. Walk, I, I walked into a house from a legal app where people meet. That's it. That's right, the, but you're not allowed it. to meet a 14 year old boy for sex, man. I'm, not, I, I'm not here for he that. He said <laughs> he was 14. I for this stuff, I did not come. I do not do this. Do this. I did not do this stuff, right? Uh huh. Isn't it funny how like. Even in non TCAP related stuff, it's all the same excuses over and over and over again. It's all the same pathology. You know what I mean? For sure. And even when you see um, predators, even the female ones, when they get caught, and you see um, the interrogations, it's all the same thing. Oh, I didn't know that. You know this uh, uh, that. That wasn't what I was trying to try to try to try to do. You're taking that out of context. Blah 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 blah. You know. First of all, well, that's that's I why Chris that... said, "Come on, Matt. You know how many times I hear that." <laughs> it just doesn't watch, Matt. It just doesn't watch. Didn't say that. You didn't say anything about I want that ass. A good <laughs> BJ. <laughs> that's like the fourth time you said that. He's trying to hammer that one home. I need to clip that. That's what. <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking. With this, with Takedown and his podcast, people need to start clipping out all these audio samples of Chris is, saying all this stuff no, and yeah. reading from the reading from the uh, chat logs uncensored. I'm gonna say these say ones are classic. <laughs> yeah, I gotta clip this. I said that. Yes, we have the text from who? From you. Where from me? <laughs> when you were texting the boy who said he was 14. No, look came- at this cop laughing. Look at look. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good time. He's having a good time. That he was 14. But when I came in, what did I do? Nothing. I did absolutely nothing. Well, you came Actually, in like you owned the place and sat down in the in the, the chair. Who walked by with said, a beer and reeking of weed. Uh, first of all, marijuana's legal in this. It's fine. In I'm just state. saying. I'm saying what happened. And first of all, I still don't want to be filmed. If the sheriff, could you please tell them not to film me? They can't. Oh, okay. You don't have all a right. Here. Here, here, Mr. Sheriff. <laughs> Since I've broken the law and I'm trying to diddle kids, can you please enforce some imaginary law that doesn't exist? <laughs> the arrogance of this guy. He's in charge. The sergeant over there. Well, sergeant sure. Why did you show up here in the first place, man? I told you. I just wanted to come by and hang out. And I thought the person was not that. I thought it was a joke. Number one. Wait, 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 wait. You thought it was a joke. So I this thought, all this talk about a BJ and well, getting all, that ass, all, first that's first a all, joke? Is a joke? <laughs> yeah. That ass is for people to meet. Just want to let you know that number Guys, one. Guys, take a shot every time that Chris has said getting that ass, right? So, so well, that kind of talk is not unfamiliar on a website like that, number one. Number two, if nothing happens, that's fantastic. I really could care less. Once again, I have to work in the morning about, I was going to go to bed in about an hour. I still can't believe this happened. I got to go to jail and I don't even know what's going to happen to me tomorrow because I have to call my work and tell I'm not going to be there and I'm going to be in a lot of trouble as it is. All I have is this job. All I have is my house. I don't have anything in this life. I have nothing. You see that little backpack and then that phone that you grab? That, oh, that's all I have. I don't have anything. And what's have what's anything. what's in the backpack, man? Just a couple beers for me, not for him. I didn't okay. say I was going to give them anything or do it. I said, I like to smoke. I like to drink. I didn't say I'm offering them anything. I didn't offer anything to a minor. I didn't say anything yeah. to a minor. I know that for a fact. I did not do that. This is Bro, a he's here to party. I to <laughs> I thought- I'm just here to party. Well, how would you feel if someone came over to your daughter's house to party? Well, I, I don't think that I've, that I've liked that very much. <laughs> <laughs> they were joking because it's uh, they always say that they're young. And then it's a 25. Oh, you're not helping your case, buddy. 30 year old man. But I've never said to a 15 year old kid, hey, yo, let's do that. No, no. Then why did you say it today, man? Because <laughs> they didn't. They didn't. Nobody's told me that. Yeah, they did, man. I've seen the transcripts. Okay, we have well, the transcripts. Chris, Chris, not because whether you believe me or not, I must have not have read it like that, or I thought it was because I could have sworn they said laughing out loud. It's funny. Ha ha ha. I'm like, all right. Well, I'm just coming by to hang out. And, you know, let's just hang out and then we'll talk or whatever, whatever, but not to a hang, hang, hang out. out. There it is. Hang out and get a good BJ, have the 14 year old <laughs> suck your neck. Didn't these are that. these are your words. Sir, I didn't say a 14 year old, sir. I knew he was going to identify himself as 14. <laughs>
Sir, I'm telling you, that's what they do on this app. They do that all the time. I had a gentleman that said he was 20. He was actually in his 50s. Sir, I'm being serious. All right. Let's take a look. Matt, but he said he was 14. Bro. I don't Why do people have to lie? Why do they have to lie? I probably could have talked with Matt for another hour. But there's oh, another predator possibly on the way. So we have to get Matt out of the house through the back door. Before the next guy arrives. No, that's, that's not the back door he thought he was going through. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to move his blinged out golf cart out of the driveway, right? <laughs> so what happens to Matt now? Matt will be transported now to, our, go to one jail. of our substations, the detective interview room, and he'll be questioned about what went on here. Um, it's up to him whether he talks or not. Uh, from there, he'll be taken to our main jail and arrested for uh, solicitation and accosting a minor. Uh, contributing to a delinquency of a minor since he brought beer over Oops. and also using a computer to commit a crime. He tried to tell me that he wasn't going to do anything, just hang out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll never know, but he did plan and show up to meet with a 14-year-old boy. That's true. The transcripts tell a different story. Yes, they do. And that's where the law is broken oh. in many cases. I thought he was going to read it again. On the phone between our decoys. He did say that he wanted that ass. That ass. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells a different story. Who's posing as a 14-year-old male and him, uh, the meetup at the 14-year-old house with beer. Um, he could say what he wants. I don't care if it was a chit-chat or not. It's still um, illegal. It doesn't matter. It's still illegal. Matt has been charged with soliciting a minor for sex using a computer in the commission of a felony and contributing to the endangerment of a child. Coming up in part two of our investigation with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, a man at first poses as a 19 year old boy. Oh, he's visiting his uncle yeah. in this neighborhood. Yeah. But you'll never believe who he really is. This is a bad guy. Yes. Where he's coming from. Do we know how far away he is, or we just know he's in the neighborhood? Um, 500 foot. And what warning he has for the sheriff's office. Gary offered up information about our location, and he actually was uh, glad that we're here because there's a lot of people in here that are just like him. Yikes. To watch more episodes of Takedown, head over to watchtrueblue.com. Now, the next guy is glory old Jerry, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Now, guys, uh, this knucklehead, Golf Cart Matt, he's got a YouTube chan chan channel. Yeah, and it it's his videos are nine months old, but this happened in 2022. So, so uh, yeah, this, he's, this he's out of jail. Yeah. He's obviously out of jail, and he's making videos after this. Yeah, so this has to be committed a crime. I mean, this and has I, to be, be violating his parole. Well, I think right? he's been in trouble since then too i i looked up his name and i saw stuff like assault with a deadly weapon charges in 2023 well i don't find that uh very surprising right look at the, this guy look at that so he had was it uh in time watchman he call calls himself and it's all this like the apocalypse is com coming foolishness Let, hold on straighten this out a little bit all righty thank you guys for joining me um uh welcome uh, to all the new subs and uh, to everybody that's returning. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for making this channel for what it is. Uh, obviously, I don't ask for money and this is not monetized or anything. What I do ask for you guys to do is to please leave me them thumbs up. Please don't. Leave a comment in the comment section. <laughs> Even if you just say shalom. How you oh, doing? people right. were leaving Maybe comments in the comment section. Video in the algorithm. <laughs> trying to get this video out to the world. So please do that. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining me as usual. We are here um, a day late, obviously, and uh, sorry, this uh, uh, weekend or this Friday, guys, I will not be doing my Shabbat talks due to technical difficulties, but that will be straightened away, and next week I should be back, so you can join me, and like I said, <laughs> I assume that's a court date. Uh, every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, <sighs> roundabout, you know, ambiguous, vague kind of way that they want to tell you the truth. Because they don't want to upset their base, their audience, their money, whatever it is, they don't want to upset whatever that might be. Heck, they don't want to upset anybody. That's their problem. They don't want to upset nobody. Here's the thing about the knuckleheads like, like this. All these doom, doomsday people and there's the Illuminati and all this foolishness. <laughs> 
Because if there's ever any conspiracy theorists who you're ta- talking to that are talking talk about some cabal of baby eating people or whatever, ask them, okay, tell them, look, I will grant you that everything that, that you said in the last 25 minute, you know, uh, 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 just rant is true. Okay, let's grant that. What can I do about it? You know what I mean? What can I do about it? <laughs> how is that going to stop me from, I mean, how is that going to affect me getting up and going to work tomorrow? How? And they won't have an answer for you. <laughs> or you ask them, okay, fine. What's the solution? How do we fix this? Well, I don't know. Then what are you talking about? And let's just say that there was, that they'd grant them everything that they said. Oh, uh, Jameson, Cam, there's some ancient cabal of wizards out there who control the banks. Uh, if, if, it's, if they've been doing this and running the world for, for thousands of years, how did your knuckleheaded behind fall out, uh, find out about it? Did they just slip up one day? <laughs> yeah. And you figured it out? It's hubris. It's self-centeredness. It's, 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 I don't even know, it's, it's, it's narcissism. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, it's this big I'm right. I know everything. I know everything. Everyone's wrong. You know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's this hyper intellectual, uh, like narcissistic spiritualism. I know that I'm just making up, but, but, but it is. I know everything. I know the truth. The stars came right. I know the truth. And now I have to spread my man. Dude, who are you, bro? <laughs> and the internet's made it worse because yes. normally you'd say this uh, this stuff to someone around you and they'd be like, what are you, an idiot? Yeah. But you say it on the internet, you'd be like, hey, look at this. 11 guys in Finland agree with me. They yeah. gave my, my video a thumbs up. And he's probably getting a ton of views, too. Uh, no, he's not. That people, well, people, <laughs> no, the he's only not. people that are watching it are TCAP fans, you know? I looked at his chan- <laughs> chan- channel. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, he's not, bro. Boy, ninety nine percent of those, I guarantee, are TCAP fans. Yeah, trolls. And yeah. Here's the thing. Um, what's his name? Um, uh, I think Joe. I think Joey TCAP commented on every one of his videos. Um, uh, this guy right here. Oh yeah, what's you're his right. Name? Uh, Nothing. Oh, George Dillman. Uh, I can only show you part of part of this, guys. This guy, he was this death touch martial arts fraud. Okay. Oh, I recognize. Yeah, oh, yeah, I George it. Dillman. This guy, he he honestly w- 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 went around teaching this 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 shit too. I try to not 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 it's swear, but guys, woo woo is fine if it's just ha ha. But you woo woo and martial martial arts. You can get people seriously hurt by thinking that by trying to teach them sure. that they can do this crap. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, look, look, look what it did to Steven Seagal's career. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> and yo, there's another guy. He says he has a dim mock death death touch and he like hit a guy's wrist and had the nerve to actually have a guy. Uh, put the put the uh, a defibrillator to him on camera. I, we have to restart his heart. Like, please, dude, are you <laughs> guys? Boxing, wrestling, jujitsu, judo, muay thai, taekwondo. Guys, learn a real martial art. You know what I'm saying? And even some of the of the of the of the karate gyms and taekwondo gyms. Are kind of like McDojos that hand out belts. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't really learn how to fight. But guys, if you spend more time breaking boards and actually strength and conditioning, sparring and doing drills, you are in the wrong place. And it's really, really easy for uh, for for these these stupid schools to end up in this cult like following. Watch, we in essence turn their light switches down. <laughs> it kicks. I got him. I got him. I got him. Their circuit breaker. Please. Please, and then they actually test it <laughs> at the end, and it doesn't work. And then, of, of course, oh no way! I want to see. He that. makes up an excuse. So yeah, guys, oh, that's perfect. Forget awesome. the actual guy, yeah. the, the dim mock. He's like he's like Mac on Always Sunny. Uh, the the ground here is not very level. Uh, 
what's this guy's name? Um, what's his name? He called. He, uh, it's not fail. Frank Dukes, is it? No, 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 no. Frank Dukes is a fraud. This guy. When I gave a demonstration a couple years ago at the national championships. Now, guys, this is how you know someone's full of it. Watch. One of the ramifications was that a group of martial arts instructors tried to have a contract put out on please the please uh, i was gonna show my techniques but they would they put a contract out on my my life you've been had you've been took you've been hoodwinked bamboozled let us straight run on muck never listen to people like this watch it's me from teaching these techniques so yes it's it's difficult to get this information out when you say a contract out on you, what do you mean by that? They wanted me dead. What incredible... Isn't that funny how... Guys, this this shit... I'm, I, I hate to cuss, but this is, irks me. You don't see in Japan or, or uh, guys that are black belts. It's like even old guys are in shape. Look at how out of shape this guy, guy is, right? You don't see in many places around the world kickball boxers, kapolistas... The judokas, B, B, BJJ black belts that are just not in shape. You know what I mean? Skill are these martial arts masters so afraid of that they would make this alleged threat? This is the actual tech. Here it is. You guys ready for this? Baited oh, breath. Yeah. One of the one of the actual death touches. Somebody is coming at you with a knife in a lethal self defense. Okay. You're activating the points on the top. Catch. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Notice he's already starting to turn purple. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Man, welcome to another episode of I Wish a Motherfucker Would. I wish he tried that on me. I wish. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. The chest. It's like that uh, Jim you Carrey that Living Matt's Color bit. doesn't yeah. actually stop. That, 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 that. You attacked me wrong. You attacked me wrong. <laughs> Have you guys ever James Hydrick? Uh, James Hydrick's a martial arts uh, charlatan that's a child predator. He's actually locked up in for life in Coalinga, which is for sex offenders in California. Yikes. They bust him on live TV, um, trying to move like uh, telekinesis and stuff as a martial artist. There's bus, a great. clicking noise in the bag, background. I, I don't know who I, I hear the clicking. Yeah, I noticed that too. Keep going. Seem to stop. Seem to stop. Keep going. Uh, me? No, but I know that there, there's a guy on Instagram and he exposes uh, 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 Pretos in the in the fitness in the industry, and um, so like he he gets you know he'll actually do research and get DMs and all these all these all these men and women that are like that are that are, that are trying to perv on 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 young 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 kids that like their workout pictures. It's gross. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he had a lay 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 lady there. There's another guy. He goes by by goob whatever and he he exposes um uh, fitness influencers that um that that doctor their pictures and he actually puts on like hold on let's see look at this watch oops you see this <laughs> watch thanks involves child abuse and i'm so sorry that i even have to make this fucking story to stephanie flesher also known as Fierce Fit Steph, professional women's bodybuilder and also represents Wings of Strength as an ambassador. I hope that this video makes the industry turn their back on Stephanie because she surely deserves it. In 2017, Stephanie Flesher was charged with these felonies. Stephanie's live-in boyfriend, Nathaniel Hale, had been molesting and sexually assaulting a minor child in Stephanie's family. Jesus. Stephanie was initially cooperating with the police. She eventually stopped. These charges were brought against Stephanie when the police realized that Stephanie had bribed the child with a puppy in exchange for lying about Nathaniel Hale molesting her. There it is. These are statements from two of the minor there it is. teachers. The child said to Shelly Brown, if I say he didn't do it, Stephanie will buy me a Pomeranian puppy. Stephanie intimidated and threatened the child. The child also said, I have to lie in court about a man that did something bad to me. He did do something bad, 
But I have to lie and say he didn't. Stephanie Flesher was the one intimidating this child. The man that molested the child was sentenced to 66 years. Stephanie copped a plea agreement in exchange for her cooperation and only served two days of a two-year sentence. He pled guilty to one of the counts of threatening a witness. Stephanie, you make me sick. You let your boyfriend molest a member of your family, and then when he got caught for it, you attempted to protect him. Clown you world. Your own family out for a fucking child molester. You say you're this a strength ambassador and an ambassador of women in bodybuilding? Absolutely not. Not anymore. All right, guys. There I it is. It was a joke, like her, because the face, it looks like it's photoshopped. Because it's now, it remember, they, now they, this is, uh, you know, they, they, they uh, cut the weight, they do the spray tan. So, and then she Ugh. has different makeup on her face. So, not a good yeah. look. Yeah. This isn't like, like the women's bodybuilding of the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Where like all the chicks were all hot and, and, and slender. You know what I'm saying? Because you, yeah. you guys remember, remember that, Jameson? Back in the 80s, how the bodybuilding ch chicks looked. You know what I mean? But they still actually looked like, like chicks. They were just like really, really good shape looking chicks. Or, you just, know? or just thicker. Yeah. So, but cool, guys. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. Episode three is down. Guys, we will do ep episode four soon. Uh, join the, dis the Discord. Sub to the channel. J Jameson Cam, any cl closing words as we close on that terrible note for this terrible human, human being? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to uh, what's his name? End of times. Go to his channel and uh, troll just him. <laughs> re, re, yeah, read through all the trolling comments on his videos, even even if he's giving him the views. <laughs> well, at worst, no one will watch. At best, he'll be a total lol cow. And Lord knows, guys, we need more T T cat lol cows. <laughs> Cam, any clo 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 closing words? No, I got nothing. Sweet. All right, you guys. I'll catch you guys in the na na next one. I pre appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the support, guys. And it's been about a year on the chan 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 channel now. It's been about a couple, like a week over a year. So maybe this Friday I'll do like a one year anniversary like live stream or whatever. So oh, but but yours is one of the worst TCAP channels. Come on. <laughs> 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 hey man, it is what it is. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. Take it easy. Bye, guys. See you later. I think. See you too.